it's uh, the systematic study of the most general concepts that we use in appreciating uh, the arts, uh, art, uh, architecture, uh, film, uh, uh, literature, and, and so on. And one very important question in aesthetics is the nature of beauty. What is beauty? Is beauty, as the common phrase has it, in the eye of the beholder or not? And what does it mean to say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder? Well, it means that beauty isn't something that's completely independent of, of minds. That is, if there were no sentient beings at all in the world, um, nothing would be beautiful. Maybe things would have, be, have the, uh, the capacity to be beautiful once sentient beings came into the world to, to appreciate them. But without sentient beings, uh, there is no beauty. Uh, now, of course, when we find something beautiful, a, a, a work of art, for example, or a landscape, we don't think that we're discovering something in our, in our own minds. We think we're discovering something out there in the world. But we have a tendency to project our own feelings, our, on, our own emotions, onto uh, external uh, reality. And so we see the beauty in the mountain, in the painting, rather than uh, in our own minds. So I think a very plausible account of, uh, of beauty is that it is uh, projected. It is something mind-dependent, but it is projected on uh, external things. Which is not to say that it is not at all important, because we are motivated by beauty. We do things differently in the pursuit of beauty. And it may be that in the pursuit of beauty, uh, we do things that are uh, are good in other ways as well. So one might say that um, sport, when it is done well, is, is beautiful. The athlete and what the athlete does is beautiful. And that brings other benefits as well. Uh, the bringing into harmony the, the mind and the body of the athlete uh, in performing the beautiful acts that they, they do is something that is a benefit both for the athlete and for the spectator.